Um, let's start by turning that way and coming into Dragonfly. So you might need to get a mat or something to sit on to lift your hips. And then you want to sit up tall. <laughs> nice, Gabriel. <laughs> and um, once you're in a position where you can sit upright, then you roll down. So bring your chin to your chest and start to slowly roll down. If you're very bendy, you can just lie on the floor. But even like pretty flexible people, or not pretty inflexible, flexible people can't like usually do it first thing in the morning, like just go whoop. So be a little bit aware of the context in which you're evaluating yourself. Take a full breath in, and with your exhale, just sigh out. <sighs> Let your head be heavy. Let your tongue get thick and relaxed. Just add a beat. <laughs> so in books, and on paper, y yoga looks really still and polite. And there are some practices that are very cooling for the whole practice. Or zenning, I don't know if that's a word. But in this practice, we start with the cool poses, the yin poses. And then we move to the warm poses the warm practice. But throughout your practice, you might make weird noises, have strange feelings, you might want to laugh, some days you might want to cry. But in all of those ways of being, even when you have the sniffles, you can practice. I think it was, was it Novalis or Nostradamus who learned to speak with his mouth full of rocks and became a famous orator. So part of showing up to practice whenever you're still not feeling perfect is I always think of this of like practicing how to speak with your mouth full of rocks. Take 10 more full deep breaths here and see how much you can soften and relax your physical body. In our surrender, we can feel the connection to the ground, to gravity pulling us. And then roll up if you reach 10. <laughs> Take your hands mid-thighs. Push the ground away. Lift it up. Maybe flexing your feet will make it a little easier. Make your legs strong. One more time. Yeah! And then spin around to the front. Cross your ankles. Roll over your crossed ankles. And come into Sphinx Pose. 
You want to have your elbows just slightly in front of your shoulders. Your legs about mat width apart. If it becomes too intense, you can bring your legs closer together. If it's just a little intense, you can squeeze your thighs and relax them, and it kind of relaxes your lower back. You can let your shoulders fall up into your ears. If your head is kind of just falling down to the ground, you could also check it out and see that you're, you can lift up your hands and hold your head. <laughs> it's a little weird. I mean, it's not so weird. And move through your body and feel into how you are this morning. You can start with your physical body. Maybe noticing your aches and pains or where you're feeling particularly strong and powerful. So just scan through your body and notice if you get stuck up in your head. And then take a couple breaths to notice how you are with your energy this morning. You'll notice some mornings you wake up jumping out of bed, delighted to be alive. And other mornings it might be a little bit like, okay. Some days your energy seems to mirror the weather. Other days, it seems to be the balance to the weather. I mean, there's some gray, rainy days. I just I can wake up so happy and jolly. <laughs> and then notice how your heart is this morning. Are you feeling excited? Joyful, sad, mad. Reflective. And then take a couple moments to notice your thinking. If you've had some time to think this morning. And then slowly release yourself down to the ground. Bend your knees. Just take your legs side to side, releasing your lower back. And make some weird sounds. Uh -huh. And then... We're going to transition. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders and push yourself back so you're on your knees, so you're on your hands and knees. And this is a little bit in between the yin and the yang. So a little cool, a little 
getting warmer. With your inhale, lift up your head, your heart, and your hips into cow pose. On the exhale, push the ground away, lift up your belly, arch your back, coming into cat pose. Inhale, lift up your head, your heart, and your hips. Hair flips great. And then exhale, push the ground away. Maybe even seeing or looking towards your belly button. Inhale, open your head, your heart, and your hips. Exhale, arch up like a shocked cat. And then inhale, come to a neutral spine. And you're going to wave up your right arm, stretch it up, wave it up. And with your exhale, thread your right arm behind your left arm and come down onto your shoulder. You're going to take your left arm and see if you can twist it around your back. Great. So even if you don't like reach conveniently to your, your right hip, you still bend your elbow and it should be pretty passive that will stay there, maybe. And you've checked into your physical body, into your energetic body, your emotionally emotional body, and your body of thought, of mind. To check into the fifth body that we talk about in traditional Chinese medicine or the Taoist perspective, you want to check in with your spirit body. Now this is a little tricky. It's a little bit like when you are really in your higher self, you don't notice yourself. You might notice the results of doing work from that place, but you don't see yourself directly. And in a way, it's a little bit the same thing with like, how do you check in with your spirit? It's incredible already that you can have the ability to reflect and see your own physical body, how you're doing, see your own emotions, and witness your own thinking. So part of checking into spirit is honoring that part of you that can witness yourself. And that same part of us is also the part that can really set intentions or goals or commitments that guide us through our life. So just take a couple moments and notice if you have an intention that you want to remember or a commitment you want to make to how you want to be maybe just today or like forever. And then unwind your way, come back to your hands and your knees, lift up your head, your heart and your hips. With your inhale and with your exhale, push the ground away. Pull your belly button up like your belly is massaging all of your organs. Exhale. Inhale. Open up your head, your heart, and your hips. Exhale. Push the ground away, warming up the insides of your body. And then inhale. Come to neutral. And then wave up to the left-hand side. And with your exhale, slide your left arm behind your right arm. Come down to your shoulder, other left arm. <laughs> and then wrap your right arm around you, feeling that you have a subtle twist to your neck. You're spinning your chest open. It's amaz an amazing thing that we can you know, take something like an intention or a goal, and it can really feed us energy throughout our day and help guide us to be more of who we actually want to be.
Precis. And the cool thing with like stuff with like intentions or goals is even after you screw up and, and forget about it for the day, you're totally, you can re-invite it back into you, your intention. Or wake yourself back up to it. Honoring this idea that success is only really available comes to people or yeah organizations that don't lose enthusiasm with mistakes and failures the dalai lama even talks about how with meditation it's like it's like practicing something you're never good at like he even describes losing concentration but you don't stop you keep going Come, come, whoever you are, wanderer, worshiper, lover of leaving. It doesn't matter. Ours is not the caravan of despair. Come, even if you've broken your vows a thousand times, come yet again, come, come. And the lovely words of Rumi. Come back to center, unwinding. Inhale, lift your head, your heart, and your hips. Exhale, push the ground away. Inhale, stretch the front of your body, lifting your head maybe further back than it was. And then tuck your toes under and exhale, lift up into downward facing dog. Wiggle around a little bit. Feel your hips pull up and back. With your exhale, feel your heels dropping. And then inhale, slide forward into plank. Feel your belly lifting up. Look a little bit more forward. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, slide forward into plank. And this time, slowly lower yourself all the way down to the ground. Flip your toes over, push your toenails into the ground. Inhale, lift up, low cobra. So low cobra, you can actually check it out that you're doing the work with your back and lift up your hands, because cobras don't have hands. <laughs> and then with your exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in with your exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> and then walk your feet in between your hands, Inhale, halfway lift, dragging your chest forward, flat back. And then with your exhale, release, bow down. Push down with your feet and roll up to the sky. Stretch up tall. Reach up even your fingernails to the ceiling. And with your exhale, relax your hands. Take off the clothes you don't need. Throw your socks over there. <laughs> fix your hair with, fix your eyebrows. <sighs> And then take your hero stance. So you can close your eyes, then we have a lot more privacy. And it's like the winner, not the fighter maybe, not the beginning of the hero move. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you close your eyes, no one will see you. I mean, wait, that doesn't work. 
but just feel it in your body. Breathe into how it feels to mimic even feeling victorious. See if you can hold it for a couple of breaths. Maybe you're imagining a statue being built after you. Feel the openness of your heart, the power of your being reaching to the edges. This practice you can do anytime, especially if you're going to do something that you're nervous about, like have an interview or make a test. Find a private place you can go, it's pu or public, it's really up to you. But uh, <laughs> strike a pose for about two minutes, and if you stand in this hero pose, you'll do better on the test, you'll do better on the interview, you'll do better on your day. And then step your feet to the top of the mat, bring your hands together. Let's see how sweet our OM sounds today, or how weird. Empty your breath. Take a large inhale. Aum. Inhale, stretch your arms up high, lift up the corners of your mouth, look up to the ceiling. And with your exhale, bring your hands through heart center and bow forward. It's a more gentle way to bow forward. Let your hands drop, let your head drop. Inhale, halfway lift, glide your chest forward, and then step back to plank. And now, a little bit, we don't often say, you want to shift your whole body forward and then drop your knees, your chest, and your chin for Ashtanga Namaskar. Your elbows squeeze in, and then inhale, low cobra. Toenails push onto the ground, so push your ah. And then exhale, downward facing dog. So that's a really nice vinyasa to start if you're just new to your practice, new in any way, maybe you've been gone for a while, or it's just really early in the morning. Allow your breath to flow and lead you. And in the class, if you need to breathe extra, do it. That's much better than holding your breath. Take another full inhale. Empty your breath all the way. Look forward and then jog your feet in between your hands. Do, 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 do. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and bow down. Let your head drop. Push down with your feet. Root down to roll up. Stretch up high. Lift up tall. Palms facing one another. Shoulders dropping. Exhale, samasthi tihi. Inhale, stretch your arms up high. Exhale, bow forward. You can yawn. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel the power in your belly. And then step back to plank and lower halfway down to chataranga. Elbows squeeze in. Gaze as far forward as you can. Inhale, upward facing dog. Nice so. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, feel your hips pull up and back. Exhale, feel your heels dropping away from your hips. You want to imagine you're pushing your hands down but trying to lift your arms up. <laughs> and rotate the part of your arms closest to your ear a little bit away from your ear. And then your shoulders can come down your back. Take another full inhale. Empty your breath all the way. Look forward and walk or float your feet forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release and bow down. Push down with your feet. Roll up. Stretch up tall. Reach up. And then exhale, samasthi tihi. Bend your knees. Drop your hips. Bend down enough that you can just touch the floor. Now, 
imagine someone's holding your hips there and try to lift up as much as you can, keeping your hips where they are. Notice if you have to do weird things with your mouth. Wiggle your fingers, maybe, so that they're alive. Stretch your arms out. Notice if you've got serious face on. Now shift your weight back to your heels. Yes. Let your hips sink down as low as your neighbors. Take another full inhale, and with your exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk or float. So you jump to chaturanga, you step to chaturanga, step to plank and lower down to chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. And with your exhale, bring your knee to your nose, your belly lift up, and then place your right foot next to your right thumb. Spin your back heel down, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your left leg up to the sky. And with your exhale, pull your knee forward and then place your left foot next to your thumb. Rise up, warrior one, back heels planted. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So in our vinyasa, our flow, we really are playing with gravity. In this dynamic, repetitive movement, it starts to build the heat in your body, the anagi in your, fi in your belly, the fire in your belly. So allow your body to get warm, to get sweaty. You want to breathe through your nose. Even when it's hard, try to do it. And if it's not possible, of course, breathe through your mouth. Empty your breath, look forward, and on one inhale, hop your feet forward and lift up, halfway lift. Exhale, release and bow down. Bend your knees, drop your butt, inhale. Ooh, katasana. <laughs> Exhale, samasthiti to he. Here, this one might work better, Dora. Inhale, ooh, katasana. <laughs> Exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift. Feel the power in your abdominals and jump back to chaturanga or step to plank and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Your thighs are floating off the ground. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. With your exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Enjoy a push-up. Oh, I'm so strong. Inhale, stretch it long. Exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb. Rise up, warrior one. Then open up, warrior two. Inhale here. And then windmill your hands either side of your foot. Chaturanga with your exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your left leg long. Exhale, bring your left knee as close to your elbow or your armpit as you can. Do a push-up. You keep it there while you do it. Inhale, stretch your leg long. <laughs> Exhale, step your foot forward. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two. Take a powerful inhale here. And then windmill your hands. Follow your exhale to Chaturanga or Ashtanga Namaskar. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. With your exhale, just inspire your neighbors. <sighs> Hallelujah. Now feel the dynamic combination of part of you is actively lifting up to the sky and part of you is actually dropping down towards the earth. So your hips are lifting. You can concentrate on pushing down with the first knuckle of your thumb and your index finger and the soft spot in between. And then you try to lift up the middle of your hand to make your palm light. Take another full inhale. Empty your breath all the way. Look forward, walk or hop your feet forward. Lift up halfway. Exhale, release and bow down. Bend your knees, drop your hips, inhale, ooh, katasana. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Inhale, <laughs> ooh, katasana to center. Exhale, open arm twist to your left. Inhale, ooh, katasana. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, halfway lift. Walk or float. Exhale, Ashtanga Namaskar Chaparanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. With your exhale, take your right knee to your left elbow. Enjoy a push up here for a little humble. Inhale, stretch your leg long. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. This push up should, should feel easy. Mm -hmm. Inhale, stretch your leg long. Exhale, step your foot all the way forward to your thumb. Plant your left heel. Rise up, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior, peaceful warrior here. And with your exhale, chataranga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stretch from your heart to your tippy toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your left leg long. Exhale, bring your left knee, right elbow, enjoy a push up. Inhale, stretch your left leg long, left knee, left elbow, easier push up. Yeah, see, it's all relative. Stretch your leg long. Exhale, step your foot bravely forward, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. I got you. And then exhale, chataranga, before you get me. <laughs> Inhale, upward facing dog, stretch your toes back, lift your thighs. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in, and with your exhale, sigh out some good stuff. Stuff you want to see in the world. <laughs> so in some of these postures, it feels like if you back off, it's going to be easier. But one of the beautiful poetry of yoga is once you go closer to the alignment, the posture actually becomes lighter that, for instance, the bones of your body carry you. Now, step your feet about a third of the way closer to your hands, and stretch one leg up to the sky. Now, see if you can lift up onto your tippy toe on your foot on the ground, and shift your weight over your hands. Put your hands down flat so you can balance on them. And then just hop up about two or three times and get a little bit of air. You can go all the way into a handstand if you want. You want to bend your knee as you land, so you land quietly. Beautiful. Switch your leg, which one you're s pushing off with. Stretch the other one up to the sky. Now, keeping your legs extended, look in between your hands. Shift your weight to your hands and lift up to your tippy toe. And then lift up. Nice. And then walk your feet in between your hands. Separate your feet hip distance apart. Now, believe it or not, this is a wrist releasing pose. You want to lift up your feet and slide your hands underneath your toes. So your toes are touching your cool little bracelets or the wrinkles in your wrists. You might have to bend your knees more. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale, release and bow forward. And you feel that um, your weight is rolling towards your toe tips. So you're kind of playing and flirting with falling over. This is the place that gets really exciting. Yeah? This place in between at what you know and what you don't know. Feel your belly lifting up to your spine. Try to breathe through your nose. And then step off your hands, toe heel your feet together, bend your knees, drop your booty, inhale. Ooh, katasana. Exhale, open arm twist to your right. Inhale up to center, exhale, open arm twist to your left. Inhale up to center, exhale, vinyasa, bow forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Float to chaturanga. Exhaling, inhale, upward facing dog. Your thighs don't touch the ground, nice though. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up to the sky. And with your exhale, bring your right knee just to touch your left elbow. Inhale, stretch your right leg long. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Maybe running man. Inhale, stretch your leg long. Exhale, step your foot all the way forward. Rise up, warrior one. Open up for warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. And with your Exhale, you're going to straighten your front leg, bend your back knee, sky archer with slayer mudra. Mm -hmm. Let's take a couple breaths here. You want to feel like you're pulling a bow and arrow. Yeah. And notice that the tension 
you can decide what it is. And find the power in your body to shoot through the stuff that keeps you small. This is like the power of Kali. You might know her for the goddess who has heads around her belt. <laughs> um, she's on one hand the grand destroyer of illusion and stuff that you don't need, as well as the ultimate mother. These things go together. So find this fierceness inside of you. And yes, it's fierce love, but we're doing the Slayer Mudra. Now take another full inhale, and you're going to fly forward and fly up into half moon. Stretch your arms apart. Reach through your fingertips. Flexing your left foot. Look in between your nipples and see if you can see your toes. It's not usually the look we're going for, but just notice. If you can't, slide your foot a little bit forward, flexing your foot. If it's too easy for you, just lift up your right hand slightly. And then with your exhale, bring your left hand down. Inhale, drag your chest forward as your hip squares, keeping your left leg lifted. And then exhale, wave to your fans on the left hand side. Hey. Mm -hmm. Just a little, oh yeah, hey. And then with your exhale, bring your hands down. And inhale, stretch your left leg higher to the sky. Now feel the difference. When you believe you can touch the ceiling with your left foot, step onto the ceiling with your left foot. Notice how the inside experience of this posture changes. Bring one hand to your ankle, maybe both. Head dropping down towards your toes. Beautiful. Now you're going to gently bring your le left foot all the way back, and you're either going to slide into Hanumanasana, or you're going to be like, yeah, I've got a mudra for you. Um, you're going to come onto your knee, your left knee. And you lift up your right foot, and you hinge back at your hips. So you're still stretching the back of your right leg, and then bowing down towards your leg. You can even be not quite touching the floor and supporting yourself here. And you can be breathing, because you'll notice flexibility increases with your breath. A weird posture to rest in, right? Now, if you are in splits, tuck your left toes under and stretch your right leg straight up into down, three-legged dog. If you're not, come up onto your, extend your leg, tuck your toes, and everybody stretch up into three-legged dog. Mm -hmm. So your right leg lifts up. And you know the thing, fake it till you make it. Now bend your right knee and let your hips spin open. Both hands still flat on the ground, twisting here a little bit. And then with your exhale, relax your right leg down. Inhale, stretch your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, touch your left knee to your right elbow. Inhale, stretch your left leg long. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Enjoy a running man if you want and know what that is. Inhale, stretch your left leg long, and then exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb, rise up, warrior one, beautiful Miriam, lift your eyes, open up, warrior two, gazes over your middle finger, inhale, reverse your warrior, and with your exhale, sky archer, straighten your left leg, bend your right knee, you feel a squeeze into your kidneys, take your power pose with a bow and arrow this time. Have you ever shot a bow and arrow? It takes a lot of force for that arrow to pierce something. So not in this practice for the love, more the slayer. Yeah, that's right. Maybe a hint of a smile. What kind of warrior are you? <laughs> and then inhale here. And with your exhale, fly forward, coming into half moon, placing your left hand about one foot length in front of your left toes. Imagine you're laying up against a wall. Breathe into it. Flexing your right toes. You can check your alignment. Look in between your nipples, see if you can see your toes. If you can't, just slide your foot forward. Yes. And then with your exhale, bring your right hand down. Square your right hip, but leave your leg as lifted as you can. Inhale, drag your chest forward. And you've got to exhale, wave your left hand to the left. Little twist, standing twist here. 
And then exhale, Ikapada Uttanasana, standing splits. So you bring both hands down, and now use your thinking. Imagine you can step on the ceiling with your left, uh, sorry, your right leg. Mm -hmm. So you're straddling between the heaven and earth. Yeah, finding that balance. And then with intention, slowly bring your right foot to the back of the mat. And maybe on this side, often both of our sides are different. Maybe on this side, Hanumanasana is easier. Maybe not. Maybe you're still floating above it. Or you bring your right knee down and lift up your left foot. Extend your left leg and bring your face to your knee. Ish. So you want to be <laughs> in the place where it's challenging. One of my teachers talks about how lucky, um, he was talking about middle-aged white guys, but how, how inflexible they are so they don't have to do very much to be right at their edge. Now I've worked a lot with ballet dancers and like sometimes they just have to do so many weird things to get to an edge. But celebrate this place of your own becoming. Maybe a hint of a smile and then Either tuck your right toes back and just sweep your left leg back into downward facing dog. The first couple times you do it correctly, you bring the mat with you. Yeah. And then bend your knee and let your hips spin open. Let your right heel be dropping behind your right toes. And then with your exhale, relax your left leg down. Now, for the next minute, you can either play with handstand or come into child's pose or um, do like a, a headstand if you want. But you can do handstand. You could just go over to the wall. We're just doing a minute. My, everything will probably fall off if I do a handstand. Someone show me a handstand. <laughs> Headstand, handstand, some sort of taking you upside down or just practicing lifting into headstand or do whatever you want. So perfect, doing a child's pose might be exactly what you need. Nice, Gabriel, squeeze your elbows together. Yeah. So in our day, daily practice of something, we want to challenge ourselves. We want to take risks. You know, we want to play with this in this kind of like playground of enlightenment and be willing to screw up and be willing to be wrong. Be willing to make things up even when you're not sure what to do. Squeeze your elbows a little bit more together, Zoe. <laughs> Nice. You can try it the other way, too. You can try it the other way, where you look at it and then jump up that way. I don't know if this is just going to fall off if I do it. It is more scary. But you notice that ends up being more interesting. And then come down when you're ready. Child's pose or forward bend. This eventually with handstands, you can actually do handstands like at home um, and do it so if you go over, you go over the back of a couch. <laughs> and then like you don't have to go all the way into full wheel. Nice, Gabriel. And then find your way back. Nice. And find your way onto your back. <laughs> Bend your knees. Reach your hands along the length of your body so your middle fingers just touch the back of your heels. And then inhale, roll up your hips. Maybe shimmy your arms underneath, holding hands feeling that your feet are hip distance apart and your knees are stacked over your ankles. 
get into your creativity and out of your obedience. As one of my, uh, gosh, I don't even remember his name. It was a long time ago. This, this um, part of one of my yoga trainings was this guy with um, basically French military background. <laughs> so he wasn't such a gentle teacher either. And, and he kind of came in, and the first thing he said was like, I'm here to be your teacher, not your friend. <laughs> we, have, we all have different styles, but you want to start to notice that life doesn't always show up as we expect it to. <laughs> and some of our teachers are warm and fuzzy and cuddly, and that's lovely. And some of them we don't even recognize. You know that person at the bus stop, that annoying one who kind of smells funny, who always wants to talk to you? And then with your next exhale, roll down to the ground. Take a full breath in. And with your exhale, share what you want more of in the world. <sighs> and then inhale, lift up your hips. Now you might feel warm enough already. You're welcome to bring your hands up next to your ears, fingers pointing down towards your feet. Come up first to the very crown of your head, and then with power instead of momentum, slowly lift up to full wheel. You want to spin your toes in when you're ready. Step your feet a little closer together. You can do a version here. Hold my ankles and then see if you can lift up. So actually really hold my ankles like, like you were. Yeah. Breathe into it. <laughs> and see if you can breathe there and then slowly come down. <laughs> so if you hold the ankles like this, that should be, that's how you do it. So, how would it be? And let's do the magic three. I can't figure it out. <laughs> and inhale, up you go. Because it would have to work. Because you have to come up to the crown of your head first. We'll work it out later. <laughs> Squeeze your elbows together. If it's too easy, you know what to do. <laughs> Isabella, walk to the top of your mat. <laughs> walk back again. <laughs> I know, orientation. And then find your edge. Think nice thoughts and come down. Bring the bottoms of, the f of your feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. A lot of times when we get up into our head and spin in circles, it feels like we're losing energy. So in those moments, you want to pull yourself back down. Feel your heart. Feel your belly. Feel your feet. Being awesome is a pain in the ass. It takes a lot of work, and like you don't, you don't get done. So you want peaceful effort, not crisis effort, right? And hug your knees up to your face. Kiss your knees. Thank you for getting you this far in life. And then stretch your left leg long on the ground. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> Let your heel reach away from your hip. And then take your right knee across your body, coming into the twist. Look in the opposite direction. Take a full breath in with your exhale, sigh out. <sighs> when we get excited and nervous, we can rise up into the top of our body, and we want to continue to bring that energy back down. My beautiful sister, one of my two beautiful sisters, she, she said to me once when I was like, oh, I'm really nervous about this thing. Blah, blah. She goes, Rachel, could it be that you're mixing up feeling nervous with being excited? And those two are so close to one another that our awakeness can really invite nervousness to become excitement. We conduct our own energy. When we notice we float up into our head, we can come down on purpose and feel our feet on the ground. And that way we can really practice not losing enthusiasm, even with mistakes. Come back to center, hug your knees in, and this time stretch your right leg long, hugging your left knee towards your armpit and roll your left knee across your body, letting your gaze go in the opposite direction. Since we're still in this Michaelmas time, think about how you keep your dragon at bay, how you keep your dragon at a distance. The fierceness and challenge of your dragon is part of what makes you stand so tall. Be so awake. And then come back to center. Stretch your legs long maybe covering yourself with a blanket, maybe covering your eyes. Take your palms open to receive. If your lower back hurts, you can always have your knees bent, taking your feet as wide as the mat and letting your knees fall back together. Close your eyes and keep your attention here, in your body, on your mat, in your room.
With your next inhale, invite your breath to the edges of your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, and your face and your nose. And then roll over onto your right hand side, hugging your knees to your chest. Feel your vitality, your source, vibrating in your body. And then help yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Allow your hands to meet at heart center. Feel the solidness of the earth to push up light away from it. Let's close with one ohm. Empty your breath. Take a deep inhale. Ah. Bring your prayer hands to your third eye. Invite the divine light. And as we bow forward together, we say, Namaste. And that's right. Make some noise. Woo! Go out there and be awesome. Thank you.